Hey, thanks, Amy. Glad to have you guys here with us again in Oklahoma City as we recap a whole weekend of barrel racing. Day number four is behind us yesterday as we crowned our champions in Oklahoma City at the 2015 BBR World Finals. What an outstanding weekend it's been. 1,658 head come through here in the Coliseum and in bar number six. But yesterday's action, let's talk about that for a minute, is our insurance race. Damon, you were over there to watch a little bit of the action. That's for those that don't make it back to the championship round, but still a lot of great horses. You bet. Those great horses that come through there, you know, they may have caught a barrel either here or in barn six. They may have stumbled just a little bit the gate and was just a little bit off the pace. They're an amazing a set of horses have come through there. Roughly right around a 15-4 is going to wind up pulling the number one spot out of that barn. We had 550 horses go through that wow. barn just in the insurance race, not counting those that had qualified from there around right. so it is an amazing race it had lots and lots of drama and excitement um, it's going to be a lot of fun to see what 2016 holds mm -hmm. because of what we had the talent we had there yep. what comes in um, it has just been an amazing week Garrett um, roller coasters yeah I mean ups and downs horses that you would think was going to be 3d 4d they made it right back here in your barn right. in the 2d yep. it's been an amazing roller coaster week I am completely wore out yes. because of the, the adrenaline, the excitement, the fun. Um, I'm ready to go back to real work just to yeah. rest. Yeah, it'll, it'll, but next year will be here before we know it. Thank you, Damon, for your insight here this week. Steve Smart, been here with me in the Coliseum all week. To yesterday's championship round, it was exciting, to say the least. And I want to know what really stood out to you yesterday as we watched those 305 horses. Well, I mean, there's a lot of horses that are nice. you got the athletes, the bloodlines. you got the trainers. So there's riders that are awesome. And it's not the one that stood out in my mind the most isn't even one that had a qualified run. They actually hit a barrel. It was a plus five. But there's so many nice horses and so much talent. But when you see one get in the ground and really hunt and want to work and want to run, and then it gets in the ground and does this, the drag and wrap. I really like Matt's freckled cowboy. Uh, that was Allie Armstrong's horse. And they did hit a barrel. Yeah. But you know they can be fast. That doesn't matter. I mean, you have champions in here. The standard's been set. Yeah. And, and the BBR world finals i can just say this for folks that haven't been here it is a production there is three arenas going on yeah. but it is so cool and yeah. family oriented and they bring in the top competitors the right. bloodlines and people can see what they want to be like to right. grow and be better in the sport yeah it, it's a lot of a lot of great action in all three of our arenas but the big congratulations of the weekend goes out to ali schwest rlj high intensity is going to be your 2015 champion of the world in the 1d congratulations to all of our division winners and that's going to be a wrap here on the 2015 edition of the bbr world finals we'll do it all again next year Thank you guys for joining us. On behalf of Ted Wallace, Damon Winburn, Steve Smart, I'm Garrett Jurgen. Back to you, Amy.